Hello everyone. This video shows how to build a massive diagonal cube using a direct construction technique described in another YouTube video and its written description. To my knowledge, this is the largest diagonal cube that has ever been built using Zen magnets with edge length 16 and 17,968 magnets. I'll show how to make the first few pieces. The first one that's needed is a one by two. That's just a triangle. It looks like that. The one by four is made by first making a two by two hexagon. So that's that's this. I mean, this side is two and that side is two. This side is two, two, etc., etc. Then to make the one by four, later we won't we won't finish the one by four, but later we'll add magnets onto the corners so that you'll have something that is one magnet by four magnets. But since this is not stable at this point, we just add those magnets on later. There's a two by two. Then we need a two by four. That is also a hexagon. And to make that, you start off with um, a one by three and then add another layer. around it. Now you can finally understand what we mean by two by four. There's two, there's four, two, four. And then to make the one by six, we're just going to add one magnet to each of the corners. But again, it's not stable until it becomes part of the um, cube. But you can see that if you add a magnet here and here, you'll have six along this side and only one on the end. So then we need a three by four, and to make the three by four, you start off with with the one by two triangle, and then wrap one complete layer around it to make a two by three, and then add another layer around it to make a three by four. Then to get to the point where you're, you're a one by eight, you need to add a couple of magnets on each short end. This brings it up to a two by six. And then at the end, we'll add the magnets in the corners to make one by eight. We need one by 10, and to make that, we'll need a four by four. So start off with a two by two and then just add layers until you have a four by four. There's one layer to make a three by three. And a second layer to make a four by four. And we're gonna build this out to make a one by 10. And what we now have is a two by eight two by eight. And when we add magnets on each of the three corners, it'll become a one by 10. Then a four by six, um, because six and four differ by two, we're gonna start with a core of a one by three. So this, and what you'll notice is that that core um, the core one by three is, was pertinent both here and here for the, the two by four. Whenever the, the two side lengths differ by two, as these do, two or four minus two is two and six minus four is two. I've uh, coated these green. Um, you can see the, the green text here indicates that the core is a one by three. And if you'll notice going back that the cores 
for these, these ones where the two side lengths are equal. They're a regular hexagon. Uh, these are coated red and they start off with just a regular two by two. They start off with this as the starting point. Then the ones that are coated blue here and here start with a core that's a one by two. And this is a one by two itself, but then you use a one by two to start wrapping to form this one by eight. But anyway, back to the one by 12. Um, we're starting off with the one by three and we add one layer to form a two by four. Another layer to make a three by five, three by five. And then another layer to make a four by six. Then um, to finish the, the one by 12, we're gonna need to add chains to the end until we get down to a chain length of two, leaving the last magnet for later. So now what you see here is a two by 10, and we'll add the magnets in the corners to make the, the one by 12. And then you continue on in this fashion to make all the pieces. Here's a photo of all the pieces that we've made so far. Two copies of each piece are needed to build the cube. Shown in this photo and in the next five photos are the other pieces that we will need. As before, pieces coated in blue, red, and green start from 1x2, 2x2, and 1x3 cores, respectively. Once all of the layers are built, all that's left is to assemble the cube. And now we can complete the triangles by adding corner magnets. Now we turn the cube over and add the rest of the layers, turning each layer over as we add it in order to match its polarity with the cube. The strong magnetic fields resisted the correct placement of this layer, so I ended up building it out from a hexagon.
The corners can also be fussy. The finished product is massive, weighing about 19 pounds or 9 kilograms.